The result of the raid were that the mother and two sisters were killed and the home entirely broken up. When the father was informed of the terrible tragedy that had befallen his family, he asked for a furlough so that he might go home to arrange for his children. General Bankhead refused to grant the furlough. Mr. Brown then told him that he would leave camp in spite of all military regulations. As soon as the father had arranged for his family, he returned to camp. True to form, General Bankhead called him up for court-martial, asking him, what is one man's family to the whole Confederacy? He even threatened to have the father tied up by the thumbs, but sentiment in camp was so strong in favor of Mr. Brown that his punishment was lightened, and he was placed in the guardhouse for a term. Mr. Brown told General Bankhead that later, when the war was over, they would meet on an equal footing and that then an account would have to be rendered for his lack of mercy.